Good morning, Stampers. Sorry for being popping in a few, here a few minutes late. I couldn't get my phone to go in the landscape um, format, so you are watching me um, up vertical in the portrait. So, <laughs> technical difficulty. Some days it just doesn't work. So, it's so good to see you this morning. Got lots of um, fun things for you. I'm going to do a little gnome punch art. Um, it's pretty chilly here in Wisconsin today. It is, it's, I think the feels like was minus 11 and my poor guys that have been working on my chimney are not here. So thank goodness, I, I'm glad, I want the chimney done, but I really don't want them to freeze to death. So I'm pretty glad that they took the day off. So tomorrow it's supposed to be nice and I think through the rest of the week, um, it's supposed to be in the 40s, so life is good. So when you get here, pop in and let me know that you're here. Um, good morning, Ruby. I don't, I can't see, oh, there's Ruby. Good morning, Ruby. So good to see you. Can you hear me today? I don't know what the deal is. Um, you know, give me a wave. Um, life is good over here. Um, just a couple of housekeeping tips. Um, don't forget that yesterday the clearance rack was um, refreshed. So if there, there's lots of good deals on there, lots of dyes and papers and ribbons. So um, lots of good things there to um, stock up on. Um, let's see what else. Don't forget. Oh, yay. Ruby can hear me. That's great. Um, good morning, Dab. Um, I forgot to grab. I know what I forgot to grab. Um, so and don't forget that stamp camp. Um, stamp camp uh, early bird registration ends, I think, I want to say December 25th. I'm not positive about that, but go ahead and um, if you're planning on coming to Stamp Camp there in the, the eight, uh, 20, oh my goodness, I really need more coffee this morning. My brain is just not working and I didn't even work. Um, Stamp Camp is the fourth Saturday in January and I want to say it's the 24th. Um, I'm almost positive about that, but um, again, if you're planning on coming to Stamp Camp, whether the morning or the afternoon, early bird registration does end shortly. So make sure that you go over to stinkingcutecards.com and um, sign up for that. So um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, Christmas cards have been starting to roll in, so that's pretty exciting. I've got a few of them to share with you today. So um, let's go ahead and I'm going to, um, give me just a second, I forgot to grab my little gnome, uh, my little, um, my second gnome, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So y'all, um, you, I think you guys showed you um, my, uh, I showed you the gnomes that we did on the porch, I think last week. I think I sh shared that on my, 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 um, my website. So gnomes are kind of all the rage. They're everybody, you know, you can see them all over the place right now and they're just so stinking cute. So I've got a little gnome card that we're gonna share with you today. And then, um, um, yeah, it's just really cute. So let's flip you around. And um, because I have it in uh, portrait or portrait, in that landscape. I'm hoping that this will work. I'm gonna have to work on a really small little spot. Kind of crazy. I'm gonna have to look at my phone. Okay, let's see. Y'all, can you see all that? Life some days can be just a little chaotic. So, 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 so here we have. Let me share with you some of the cute Christmas cards that have been coming in. All right, so this one is from my friend and downline, Patty. Um, she used a, a stamp set that was available, I can't remember if it was last year or two years ago. Hey, good morning, Tammy and Deb. So this one is from my friend Tracy. Isn't that stinking cute? Yes, Kathy, gnomes make me really happy too. So she had sponge the ho ho ho, which is so adorable. This gorgeous one is from my friend Barb. Love, love, love the sparkle of that baby. Woohoo! This is from my friend and downline Danette. Yep, isn't that cute? It's just a cute little fun fold. Maybe we should talk her into doing something like that for stamp camp. What do y'all think? And this one is from um, my friend and uh, camp attendee Bonnie. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus is the reason for the season. Oh, so much, so pretty, lovely. This one was stunning. Um, this one is from Phyllis. I just love it. Gorgeous. I think the Drummer Boy was available last year or the year before. And this cute one is from um, Susan. Um, love this little snowman in the paper. is real fun too. So um, how cute. Thank you so very much, Susan. And this one, a lovely one also, is from um, my friend and customer, Sarah. Um, she gorgeous. Love what she did here. And she's one of those people that decorated the envelope. So the this uh, card matched the envelope. So it was lovely. Love, love, love. 
So those are just a few of the cards that are coming in. We'll, I'll keep sharing them as they come in. So thank you so very much. And no, I do not have mine out. Um, <laughs> one of these days, I'm, well, I was going to send them out with the catalogs. I am waiting for, I had ran out of envelopes for the, um, the catalogs. So um, they're coming in tomorrow as well as my um, address labels. So we'll be able to crank those out before Christmas. So all right, let's move on to gnomes. Gnomes are adorable. So this was um, one of the squares that we were able to um, do at the, the collage, the Christmas collage, the winter collage that we did um, last week. So loved him. He, this is the die from the sailboat, as well as some cute little um, embellishments. And this was a, the top of a tree. Um, I believe it's the tree that I'm using for my card today, but um, I, I think it's called In the Woods. So that is the, one of the squares that the girls were able to do um, at class the other day. So, um, but thing, um, who is adorable? Um, so nice, tall, skinny little gnome, he's adorable. Um, I kind of like my gnomes a little fat. Um, I probably can identify with them better. So um, I had a friend, um, Susan Campfield is a demonstrator um, from Minnesota and um, she did the cutest little gnome and I wanna share that with you today. So let's show you how quick this other little gnome and then I'll show you a card that I made with it. So, <clears throat> all right, ah. So this is the leaf dye from the tropical um, dyes. And so here, I've cut it with white and that is going to be my beard of my little um, my little gnome so here let's show you I'm gonna show you what he's gonna look like so here is my cute little gnome and let's show you how quick this goes together so here we have our tree punch and this is some of that perfect the plaid paper and I've got the tree and we're just gonna snip the stem off and my snail we're just going to add that right here to our gnome. How cute is he? All right. And then we have the, the flower punch. If I can get it open here. There we go. And we're just going to punch. This one came in the bundle. Um, I believe this, this is a new one. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to add... There is our feet for our cute little gnome. How stinking cute is that, hey? Ah, adorbs. Now we have options. We can, this one I did, I used the petal pink and punched with a circle punch to have a cute little nose like that. But of course we have options. This is the heart from the dog punch. So maybe you want more of a pointy nose. Totally cute. And option number three, you know, if you want your gnome, your gnome to be a little more of a bulbous nose, because <laughs> we have some of those too, you could go ahead and do that. But I like the little, the, the round one. He's so cute. <clears throat> Let me get that on there. Now, ah, some days. Stick that right in there. How cute is that? Adorbs. Um, I have my black marker, which I put, it was just here. Wouldn't you know? I'll find it before we're done here. And if nothing else, huh, well, isn't that crazy? Some days. <laughs> See, you don't have to be real intelligent or talented to uh, do videos at Facebook Lives every now and then. Hey, good morning, Deb. Good to see you too. Um, I think you have a box here yet. <laughs> One of these days I'll meet up with you if, you if you can't make it over. Okay, so let's put this adorable, adorable little gnome um, together here. So um, we have a new set of dies. This is the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I have went ahead and used In the Woods um, paper and cut out two of the shaded spruce um, trees. And let's go ahead and use our um, puff paint. I think I did a video, um, it wasn't a Facebook Live, but a video on my stinkingcutecards.com on how to um, puff up uh, pine cones. So check that out if you didn't get a chance to. So we're just gonna put a little bit of snow on our tree looks like we here in 
the Waukesha area are is we are not going to have a white Christmas. I believe it's supposed to be like 40 all next week. So that cuts down the chances. I'm going to heat that up. This stuff is a lot of fun, but less is more. Um, and what I found is I let it just slide out of the, um, the bottle instead of turning it upside down and squeezing. Um, and I, f I have a lot better luck. And when I did my, um, my when I did my, um, oh, the pine cones that I uh, puffed up, I think I, like I said, um, I used the silicone mat and that works really slick. Oops. So there we go. How stinking cute is that? All right. So let's go ahead and add my, I'm gonna stick my tree together. What do you think, Kathy? Which gnome is, oh, and then I just goofed it up. Gah! Well, we'll add a little, we'll add a little more paint, puff paint later. That's what I get for turning it over. That was completely and utterly my fault. All right, then let's add our sweet little gnome here. And we're gonna stick him right here. How stinking cute is that, hey, adorbs? Now, I have a stamp set. This is the greatest part of Christmas. I have one here in the um, studio that I need to um, a draw a winner from last week's free shipping promotion and um, get that out in the mail. But this week, like my, if you like my video or um, share it with your friends, I will send my copy of the greatest part of Christmas out to you, um, to the lucky winner of this week's drawing. I want to send the stamp set to a friend of mine that just loves gnome or the stamp set. I want to send this card to a friend of mine that just loves gnomes. And, um, I think she would love it. She's kind of had a bad week. So I thought this would be kind of fun to cheer her up. So let's just add a little strip here, a little feature strip. How stinking cute is that? And then we're just going to add this. The greatest part of Christmas is the time spent with those that we loved. And this is one of the new dies that is in the, um, in the, oh, see, I, some days. Here we go. Isn't that adorable? I'm going to glue that down and um, you could add one of those cute little bells. I guess <laughs> you, you like the bulbous nose. I know they're so cute. So love it. So, so stinking cute to have this sweet little car. Now, now don't think that gnomes are just for uh, Christmas. Can you imagine a sweet little Valentine gnome with some of the new paper that is in that um, January to June mini catalog? So that's what I've got for today. Um, life is good and hope you all have a great weekend and we will chat next week. Thanks again. Toodles.